Hey guys, Wild, and here's that thing I was saying I was gonna do a couple days ago. Competitive analysis of everything that's new. And also I got some people with me. Say hi, people. Hi, people. Hello, people. Yeah. Yeah, so we got, we got, we got Rich, we got Tony, and we got, uh, Sour. So yeah. Anyways, uh, Cerebi, they posted up the base stats, and they seem to be the most accurate as of right now, and almost like kind of going in half-blind. But, yeah, they're getting more and more confirmed, so there'll be a margin of error, but we'll, we'll see where it gets us. But anyways, we're going to start with Chestnut. So, uh, chestnut. yeah, hidden, what's its hidden ability? Bulletproof. Protects Pokemon from Bulletproof. some ball and bomb moves. That's pretty bad. But, uh, it's you know. It's not bad. Uh, but I how mean, many? It can well, I guess it can. Um, allow to, you know, be a strong Gengar counter. Yeah, can, that's uh, true, because focus... Um, well, hold on. What's even counted under it? Do they even say what's counted under it? No, they don't. Okay. Uh, Anyways, let's nope. look at the base stats of our friend Chestnut. <clears throat> let's see here. Pretty underwhelming, actually. Base. Extremely disappointing. Let's see. Base 88 HP, 107 attack, not that great. 122 defense, then 74 special attack, 75 special defense, and 64 speed. That's yeah. It's um, an... technically it's a slightly better total. Yeah, so it'll be like, anyway. like R U N U material, I would think. Like probably something along those lines. Yeah. Like if you think about it, like one three, it's best. Actually, it's let me best do something really defense, quick. So let me go to Smogin really quick because I know they have like all the moves up, but yeah. Yeah, um, that's not gonna help it much against a four times super effective like Brave Bird or Aerial. Yeah, I know. It's like it's that's, that's, it, that's, it doesn't have much going for it. Let's see, where do they have that stuff? Here we go. I'm just trying to find out, because I know Smogan has a bunch of the moves posted, so I'm just trying to find that thread really quick. Uh, where the hell is it? Did but, yeah. you pause it, or is this actually going to be in the video? It's actually in the video, because I don't it's give fantastic. a fuck. I know. I okay, really? here we go. So, I, let's see. <laughs> uh, let's see. Chestnut's moves. Let's see. Nothing really that great to note. Like, it has Seed Bomb, Needle Arm, Aerial Ace, Leech Seed... Woodhammer. There, there's not even really any fighting moves listed here, but that's probably for a reason. It's got hammer arm, but it's probably oh, okay. like super power. Eh. It has that. Uh, it has that power of punch thing, I think. Yeah, that. I don't know. I still don't think it's gonna be that great, though. Nah, but, it's not. Oh well. Anyways, let's move on to Delphox. Let's see. What is its hidden ability? Pokemon steals the held item of a Pokemon when it hits with a move. Huh. That's pretty interesting. So you could even go like. Not even have an item and just fuck people up with that. That's kind of cool, actually. And then, you know, fire psychic typing. That's always nice. Now let's look at the I base stats. That. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think, like, a lot of people are hoping for that. Like, the moment people saw the psychic attack, they were like, Oh my god, please, please be fire psychic. But anyways, it's base stats. We got 75 HP, 69 attack, hoop a doop uh, 72 defense, 114 special attack, that's not bad, 100 defense, and 104 speed. All around, that's pretty good, actually. Like, not the highest defense in the world, but you can honestly make pretty good use of it. Yeah, good stats. I, I like the stats. Yeah. It's interesting. And it yeah, gets... I hated this when it initially came out. Yeah, like, like oh, I wasn't that impressed by it, bad. but then it's like, yeah. And it can get Calm Mind, and then it has access to, like, Shadow Ball... Psychic, flame, flamethrower, fire blast—you know that kind of stuff. So, you can get a pretty good setup sweeper out of it. So, that'll be interesting to see. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Plus, it gets switcheroo, so that's always fun. I hope it gets focus blast, so I turn. Oh yeah, that. To well, up destroy it. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's true. That's the only uh, downfall for psychic types. Yeah, but I mean. They pursue traps, basically. Yeah, but I mean that always happens, so. If it doesn't get Focus Blast, you know, they're still HP fighting, so... It's not the yeah, hugest thing in the world. Do a nice 40%. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, hey, it's got that one... What was it? 115? 114 base special attack. It's still gonna do some damage to T-Tar, you know? Yeah, so you it's think like... that's worth a, a slot for a nice 60 base power move? Mm. 70. 60. Wait, so Hidden Power is lowered to 60? Hidden yeah. Power has been lowered to 60. Okay, fuck Hidden Power now. <laughs> Anyways, now that we got that out of the way, next, 
fucking Greninja. Okay, okay. Uh, this thing's hidden ability. After the... Can, any, can anyone say inverse <laughs> um, Kecleon? Yeah, after the Pokemon uses a move, it becomes a pure Pokemon of that type. That is... Oh my god. Like, I didn't even know it got that. Holy shit. Kecleon gets it too, by the way, as a hidden ability. That is pretty good, though, because <laughs> Greninja actually has some nice diversity, because it can get Ice Beam, it can get Grass Knot, has other stuff, and it, it's got some nice stuff, extra sensory, I mean, that's pretty diverse, like... And it's and fast, get and gets powers. Yeah, okay, hold on, let's look at its base stats first, because that's base interesting. Stats are pretty all right. Oh, yeah, uh, 72 HP, 95 attack, 67 defense... 103 special attack, 71 special defense, and 122 speed. So it's in the speed tier, as I know. Yeah, and combine that with its special attack stat. That is, like... It's, it's pretty okay. Honestly, I think it's the best starter this gen. I think it's a pretty good, like, high you you mid you material, honestly. Because it has a pretty good move pool, too. Has access to Nasty Plot. I don't know. I'm excited for this thing. Like, the only thing I hated was Water Shuriken is a physical move. <laughs> Cause otherwise, yeah, what if a Pokemon like Kingler gets that too? Oh, or Crawdon? No, I'm pretty sure so it's exclusive to Greninja. Yeah, well, Milk Drink was exclusive to Milk Tank as well. Though Goku gets that too. So yeah, Goku but I mean, it'll be later that. on when something <laughs> gets it, you know. But it's right. well, it won't be yet. But yeah, Water Shuriken would have been great if it was special. But now it's kind of subpar. But yeah, it's like if you look at. Just, uh, Greninja's move pool, like, the only thing that can make it better is getting an electric move. Otherwise, it's got some pretty decent stuff on it, because... Did you see it getting Shadow Sneak as well, by the way? I thought it, it did. So That's... That kind of makes sense, actually. And but according to Pokemon Showdown, it gets both spikes and rapid spin, but I'm what? sure it does not get rapid spin. That doesn't... Wait, it gets spikes? It does get spikes, yeah. Yeah, I guess this thread isn't updated, but yes. Yeah, oh my god, spikes would make that pretty good. Like, you can... Damn... Yeah, Greninja's gonna be an annoying piece of shit. Except I love it, and I'm gonna use one soon, so I'm okay with that. <laughs> Alright. Anyways, next we got Diggers B. You really like, gonna go by all of them? Oh, I'm just going by, like, the ev the final evolutions. Yeah, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, I'm not, like, going each and every Pokemon, but it's like, you know, I figure might as well go over a good portion of everything so we can just get a sense of what the new stuff does. You know. Okay, that's good. Alright. Anyways, Diggers B. It's normal ground. Let's see. Has huge power as its hidden ability. And only then will it be useful. Yeah. Yeah, because otherwise, yeah, you can just see its Every base stats. Average. It's. Yeah. Mm. And, and even once it gets it, it's like, eh. Well, it gets really good moves for its typing, in my Let's opinion. See. Oh, it is a normal type, so most normal types always. No, there's nothing sense. really listed, but. It gets sore sets. It gets, um,. Of course, it gets Return, which is, of course, very yeah. nice for a Pokemon like this. It gets Earthquake, it gets Hammer Arm, which is nice. Yeah, that's not too bad, so I guess we'll see and where... It gets Quick Attack with maybe Choice Band or Swords Dance in combination with Huge Power. That could definitely be good. Yeah, just later on down the line. Right now, I'm just kind of chilling there. Yeah, it needs but... to get Huge oh, Power. Yeah. Oh, it's not usable at all. Anyways, next we got Talonflame, which... I was hoping it would be pretty good, but I got disappointed. Really? I thought it's much better than I thought it would be, actually. Eh, I thought it was going to be better than it was going to be. Like, it's just its you attacks... You it gets Priority Brave Bird. Oh, yeah, no, I, I just saw that ability. Gale Wings, all its things plus one. But the problem is, its attack stats are just really low. Like, it has a really good speed stat, 126, but stat. then it's like... Wait, it gets Swords Dance? It gets Swords Dance. Okay, then we're okay. Because otherwise, I mean, it's it's a usable attack stat if you can get an SD in, yeah, but otherwise it's like, you gotta fight for it. Plus, wasn't Rox nerf this gen? No, that was, no, a, that was just a real not. Oh, okay. Alright. Much like most... Yeah, that's, that's true, stuff. but I don't know. I, it's like, no one has really used Rox yet because no one has access to it, so it's like, eh. But, yeah. I mean, if you can get an SD in, sure, it's useful, but otherwise it's just kind of chilling there. But... Yeah, that Gale Wings ability is kind of cool. Let's see, what's the next one? Villian or whatever? Or Vivillian? Yeah. Yeah, probably one of the better buck flying types. Really. Look at all these patterns! 
Oh boy. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> just kind of an average bug type, honestly. Oh, at least you get compound doors on shield doors. Yeah. It gets Hurricane, too. Oh, okay. It so... gets Hurricane and Quiver Dance. Okay, so there we go. Sleep Powder Hurricane Bug Buzz. Quiverdance. Okay, yeah, that that is pretty good. With a near unmissable sleep powder and hurricane. <laughs> yeah, it's just let's see. So it is 89 base speed, so that's just gonna be a little bit of a problem. But I guess in lower tiers it'll do some damage. Mm -hmm. Come in, put some your sleep, quiver dance. Yeah. Kill something. Yeah, that'll be cool. So that, that'll be magneton or something to get rid of steels. This this thing could sweep. Oh yeah. I, I think so anyway. If yeah, that'll be pretty right. cool. Then next we got Pyroar, which uh, it's got a pretty good special attack stat and then decent speed stat. But then it's like, oh, we give it Moxie when it has a terrible ass attack stat. There we go. Sixty-eight. Yeah, yeah. Something I personally would like to try out with um, Pyroar is probably go like maybe naive or hasty and just. Um, Speed and special attack and Oh yeah. Give it like uh, flare blitz as well. Yeah, that can and work. If you do get that attack boost, then people do bring it like a chancy. Oh yeah. That would work out, even though you don't invest in it. But life or plus an attack boost. Yeah. Box, it could still work on something like that. That's definitely right. something I want to try out. See if that works out. Uh huh. Yeah, it's worth trying out, but it's obviously not going to be the greatest thing ever. But it's still an interesting little dude. I, was, I mean, you look at it, you're like, this thing should be really offen or like physically offensive. But then it's like, no. But, oh well. That's a pattern, though. Yeah, that's They've true. done that more times. Because this is looks like uh, this generation's Arcanine-type Pokemon. And Arcanine yeah. is, of course, more physically offensive. So they make this special. It's the same thing with Clauncher. And that's true. Oh yeah, Clauncher. We'll get to that we'll later. To later. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. All right. Anyways, that's next we got Florgies. <laughs> really good Pokemon. I think it, it, it's, it's gonna be pretty really interesting. Good. It's got a nice special attack and a, or a special defense and stat. Special defense. Yeah. yeah. That's our wonderful. As well as yeah, it, Moonblast as well. What does Moonblast do, anyways? It's like a, a 95 base power special attack, fairy type, with a 30% chance to lower the lower opponent's special, special attack. attack. Oh, that's cool. It's it's a really good move. It's yeah, that'll really, be interesting. Really Does it get any boosting moves, or...? Uh, well, it gets wish and recover. Oh, okay, so, so it can be a decent uh, enough wall, because... Yeah, well, then again, wall, fairy typing is kind of weird. Defense. I don't know. Like, what... Sorry, Chase? I was saying fairy typing is kind of weird defensively, you know? Well, it's immune to dragons. That's true, but I mean, you you don't even have to worry about that. Then it's like, I'm just saying on the special defense side, it's like, because all this stuff. I I guess I can take bug and dark. But then it's like after that, I don't know. It can take anything. That's uh, true. It does have a good special defense stat to take it. Bulky. So and it gets yeah. aromatherapy as well. Oh okay. It's a really good supporter, I think. Oh I think yeah, that'll be, be really kind of cool. To deal with. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good like cleric type mod this gen. Yeah, that's true. And then next we got the MBZ Pokemon, Go Goat. Oh gosh. I'm pretty sure they'll see Esico Pokemon. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't really pay attention to him, so I don't know. But anyways, uh, Go Goat. Uh, yeah, it's it's average, I guess. It's got a good HP and attack stat. It's this gen's uh, Buffalant. So I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I guess you could say that. Because I mean, Buffalant was kind of the same. It's just kind of. Well, I guess Buffalon was more bulky. Then but... This one has um, a very interesting move pool, very unique. Yeah. It Let's gets, go. Um, for example, Milk Drink, like I mentioned before. Oh, yeah. It was only exclusive to Milk Drink. And it learns Leaf Blade and Horn Leech. Oh, yeah. Both very nice. Yeah, Horn Leech would be cool. Basically attacking grass type options, which some grass types don't get. Yeah. Uh, it, gets, it gets a lot of good options. And yeah. It's. it's bulky due to its high HP that it also gets earthquake right. it can set up with bulk up so it's, it's oh yeah that's pretty cool yeah if it gets bulk up then that'll help that defense stat so all right that's cool all right I'd love to see a little bit more attack but it's usable yeah of course but I mean if it's getting bulk up then it's it'll be a bit better so yeah mm -hmm. anyways next we got Pangoro the fighting dark of this gen with a yeah like Parallel Earth Ring, I feel like. Yeah, a little bit. And it, it's got 
some nice abilities, but then it's like it's got a good attack stat and a decent HP stat, but then the rest of it's just kind of like, eh, it's then, there, yeah. But it's kind of like like Tony said, it's kind of like Ursaring. Yeah. Just underwhelming. It, it just doesn't get the speed stat it needs, but it at least gets body slam to help it somewhat. But then again, its defenses and what typing it has kind of makes it hard to really break out that easily. Oh, and I it's think, also um, continue. This Pokemon should be used as. Um, a Pokemon doesn't necessarily need a speed stat. Well, you could use Trick Room or yeah. Pokemon like. Um, well, I'm going to use Genesect as an example, but Genesect type Pokemon in its theory it will play it. That can force switches, use a move like Parting Shot, U Turn, or Volt Switch. Oh, yeah. And get this thing, this thing in for free because it gets massive attack, it gets very good dual stab, and Iron Fist and Mole Breaker potentially yeah. granting an Oko's through sturdy and just high defense stats. And Scrappy as well, by the way. Oh, yeah. Even though ghost Even though types yeah. are demolished by Crunch, you can safely just go for Focus Punch yeah. or Switch or something. But I think most of the time you'd probably want to use Mold Breaker, if anything, because Mold Breaker just has that diversity. But... Yeah, but, like, what would you break? What, what well, you said, like, the Sturdy and stuff. Yeah, okay, but you can also get Hazard or something. Yeah, true. I don't know. Like, I, it totally depends on what you need to defeat. Like, yeah, that's true. Really so, it, it, it can be pretty diverse, and it's just up to what your team is in the end. I think it's going to be interesting to use competitively in lower tiers. Oh, I don't yeah. I think it's going to be anywhere near OU. Oh, no, uh, it's it's not. There's three good abilities, very good offensive dual stab, good attack set. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but it's just, just the rest of it kind of pulls it down. Plus, it's uh, times for a week to the fairy type. Let's note that. Yep. All right. Anyways, uh, now we uh, go to Furfro. I'm very excited to use this. Like my favorite Pokemon cuts physical damage in half. That's interesting. Yeah. And it, it kind of basically doubles its defense stat, barring opponent's mole breaker. Like uh, yeah. Laura. Look at all those different form trims. Yeah. I mean, you don't even know what you think about it. <laughs> it's just 102 speed. It's yeah. Speed. Otherwise, it's just kind of an average guy. So otherwise, it's. HP is pretty low, so it doesn't really help as much for its bulk. I feel like um, it with um, with the ability you have. Oh yeah. Very very good defense. Yeah. Four hundred and eighty max. But it, it's just going to be really limited to lower tiers. Defense. Yeah. Um, it already has good natural special defense because it's base ninety. Yeah, it's base ninety is pretty speed. usable. Mm -hmm. So like. And its HP isn't even that low. So it, depending on move pool, this thing can be very, very good in lower tiers. Oh yeah, of course. But again, it's just that factor of, you know, lower tierness. But, yeah, that's true, but still. I, 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 would, I like using this book. I hope it gets U-turn and maybe Wish or something. That would work. But that totally depends on what moves it's going to get. Yeah. But anyways, next we got Meowstic. Or Meowstic. Which is like... I don't know, it's alright, I guess. Let's see, what are its abilities? Keen Eye, Infiltrator, Prankster, and Competitive. Huh. Can I uh, quickly mention one more thing? Um, I can confirm that Furfru learned U turn and also Thunder Wave, so it can okay. be very annoying defensively. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, actually, you can also just mention uh, with Pangoro, does anyone want to talk about the uh, parting shots? Um, yeah, what is parting shot exactly? I heard about it, but I didn't really know. It loses your uh, defenses and speed switch out. It's basically. Oh okay. Oh okay, that's cool. Well, I'll be. So you can potentially you know, lower your first defenses, or not sorry, attack. Um, oh here, let's see. Let's and... open up the attack. To... Oh whatever, but yeah, parting shot. Really parting shot, and then good. you can able to set up with something maybe like. Yeah, that'll be cool. So dragon bombs, so start sweeping. Yeah, that'll be a pretty cool, interesting thing. Cause parting shot is what typing fighting. Or, I think the typing is still unknown. Oh, okay. Maybe they confirmed it because there's probably someone out there that trained a Pangoro and yeah. Had to move. Well, I mean, someone had to train it so they could get the base stats out of it, you know. So I mean, anyways, uh, next we got Meow Stick, which yeah, I kind of went over its abilities. So I mean, you can use it for support a bit, but otherwise it's just kind of like, eh. 
It's really frail too. Well, it's average. But it has to yeah, be it's kind of just one of those like lower tier. Oh, I might just need something to quick set up screens. So I mean, it gets prankster, but after that, it's just kind of like, eh. But I don't know. I don't have much to say about it. It's it's not that good of a Pokemon. It's it's definitely yeah. the prankster makes it at least usable already. Yeah, but then after that, it's just kind of like, yeah. It's subpar. Basically. The interesting thing to note is that it gets the combination of Mean Look, Toxic, and Torment. Oh, okay. If you combine that with Prankster, that could be really annoying. It also gets Dual Screens, being a Psychic type. Yeah. So you can definitely put some use out of this Pokemon, but I'm not just, sure. Just not much. If there are, there's probably superior options. Oh, yeah, probably. Like, as well as all will be superior Prankster uh, users, this one. Yeah. Uh, no doubt. But anyways, next we got Agislash. Ooh, that's that, interesting. Yeah, I've uh, just seen a lot about it. I know it gets, like, a ton of boosting moves, and then just the fact that it immediately switches when it changes what kind of attack it's doing. It's just like, damn, that's going to be really annoying. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I played one in my second Wi-Fi battle is still in-game team, so I just didn't have anything for it, really, but it was just like, well, shit. Yeah, because, I mean, <clears throat> on the defensive, 150 defense and special defense, and you switch, that over to, you switch those two stats over to attack. Yeah, that's just like... Because you <laughs> don't even need to invest in the defensive stats, so you can just invest in the attacking stats and then just kind of chill there, you know? Exactly, because max neutral... Defense stats, both of them is going to be 305. Yeah, and that's. The means doesn't learn, learn Swords Dance. Swords Dance, uh, Automize, and then it's just got. I know it get. I'm pretty sure it gets Shadow Sneak, and then it, it gets like. Shadow sneak, kills it, it gets all the stab moves it needs. I'm, Sacred Sword as well, which is very nice. Oh, shit. And then let's see. It gets Head Smash. Fine Heads. Yeah, it, it gets some pretty good stuff, so it'll it'll be a force to be reckoned with. Like, it'll be. I don't know. Just, just from what I've seen of it. It's like, it can easily get set up pretty well, so, I don't know. It, it can be pretty decently high-tiered material, I think. I agree. I, I think this, this Pokemon can be very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No doubt. As well as, um, has a, I think it's a move called King Shield. Oh, yeah, that's like its own personal protect or something, I think. <clears throat> and it's like... It immediately switches to shield form then, so it's like, oh, well, shit. Yeah, so... It doesn't have an after effects about, I think, there's someone's the attacker's attack or defense. I'm not yeah, sure. I don't remember exactly. I just saw it in game once, and I was like, well, gets his own personal protect. That's not fun. But yeah, it, it, Agislash will be a thing you have to watch out for, because that is going to be a force to be reckoned with, I believe. Mm-hmm. But anyways, next we have uh, Amaristi, um, whatever. Like pink blob. Yup. Do you not like that it, Rich? Like, I truth be told, I don't like seventy percent of the six gym designs. That's true, but we're gonna be brutally honest. Well, all I can say about that is at least it's better than the fifth gym designs. Eh. That's true. Fifth, fifth gym was pretty bad too. But yeah, this thing it's kind of eh useless yeah basically but that's how it goes uh, i don't know i don't think I it's mean, gonna be useless well yeah Why but would it be useless it's pretty decent i guess i, think, I um, mean the problem with this though is that it might be outclassed by clefable which now also is pure fairy type wait clefable's mm -hmm. pure fairy type yes yes yep oh and that makes it really good I guess. Well, I don't know. I would. Scary. I miss the normal typing now because No Guard Double Edge was so good. Oh, but... yeah. Okay. You mean the, the Life Orb with yes. the Magic Guard? Oh, I love, yeah. I love the yeah, Life the Orb, orb set. Mix set. But, Chase, think about um, Call My Moon Blast, Fire Blast, Recover. Uh, True. And, like, what, what stops that? Like, Heat Tread. And, wait. Does Steel Resist Fairy? Yes. Oh, Fire Resist yes. Fairy, too. So, yeah. All right, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, you could probably go with Earth Power or something. I don't know. There's just that. Yeah. It's gonna be a really good poke. Oh yeah, yeah, no doubt. But yeah, this thing is just kind of, yeah. it's just kind of like there. Was, <laughs> yeah, like I was to say, this is just outclassed by other mods. So. Yep. Anyways, next we have uh, 
Slurpuff. Slurpuff. Kind of in the same boat, honestly. Like, it's it's not terrible, but it's not anything that good. It's just extremely average. Yeah. <clears throat> it's just screaming mediocrity. I agree, actually. For once, Tony agrees. This will never happen again, folks. But yeah, it's just kind of there. Anyways, uh, next we got Malamar. Ah, uh, yes, Malamar. Yeah, I was ex- yeah, actually kind of, ex- I was pretty excited about its typing, and it doesn't have the worst abilities. It's got contrary, so that's pretty good. Amazing, I mean. No, yeah, because does it? No, 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 superpower. Yeah, I heard that it gets superpower. Does it get any uh, speed lowering moves? Or not that I know. Okay, totally should have gotten V create because that totally would have just. <laughs> <laughs> V create on a psychic dark type. Okay. Why not, man? Why not? Yeah, Malamar. That. What's his move? I mean, besides superpower, is it got anything like that really stands out? Or I know it gets psycho cut, but after that, like. I think payback's got to be good at it. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. And it's got all right bulks. I mean, it's usable enough to say the least. Yeah. My only concern with it is it's typing because that's quad weak to bug. Yeah, it's quad weak to bug, quad weak, or, well, it's weak to fairy, but otherwise it's, like, it kind of just takes stuff, you know? It's yeah, It's got pretty it, good it, typing it, otherwise. Like, if fairy typing didn't exist, it'd only have one weakness, exactly. so... Well, which is still a quad weakness. Yeah, and also U-turn is still gonna be a fairly prominent move, I believe, so... Because, mm-hmm. like, you can run U-turn on Greninja, and it's like, oh, there we go. And it's like, U-turn's on a ton of things, so, I don't know. But, yeah... It, I don't know. Malamar is gonna be a cool Pokemon to use. So, but I'm hoping um, I'm hoping to use this just brave max attack and a trick room superpower. Just keep boosting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it'll be that high tiered though. Is the only thing like. No, definitely not. Definitely not. But... Yeah, it, it'll be cool to use though. I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. design wise, it's just one of my favorites. Yeah, it looks really good in my opinion. I like how it looks. Yeah. Hey man. It evolves at level thirty, but you have to keep your DS upside down, otherwise it won't evolve. What the fuck? That makes yeah. no sense. Well done, Gen Six. Well done, <laughs> Turn your DS upside down. Imagine if you don't have internet access to look that up. <laughs> You're just like, how do I evolve this? And then just one day you're randomly playing upside down in your bed because you're a weirdo like that, and then, oh, my Pokemon evolved. How did this happen? Who does that? Hello? Ah, Weird okay, people. Level 73. Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> this Pokemon must be amazing! But yeah, uh, anyways. Malamar, it's, it's pretty cool, but... I don't know. Anyways, next we got... Yeah, Barbackle, or whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Yeah, didn't it get Shell Smash? It does, yes, it yeah. Does. Yeah, and it's got good offensive typing, so... I think we can just leave it at that. <laughs> Amazing stats, too, by the way. Yeah, it's got really pretty good stats, like... I don't know, it, it does need the Shell Smashing, though. Like, otherwise, without it, it's just mediocre, honestly. Like, it's got a good defense stat, but after that, it's like... Oof. I yeah, just saw it and... updated stats. They're not as good as they were. Yeah, it's just kind of... have 100 special defense. And... Oh, yeah. If, if it had higher defense... If it had a higher special defense and HP stat, then yeah, it would be a lot better. But it's just kind of there now, you know? Yeah. The stats that it did have made it really powerful. And, I mean, this still allows it to be a fairly effective shell smasher. And like Sarah was pointing out with the, with the tough claws, it should be really good, like, physically based. But its stats were not as good as they initially were. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, it's still pretty usable, so... Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll yeah, s- no, definitely, but without a doubt, especially... See how it plays out, I guess. That is a phone. That is a phone. <laughs> Another nice thing to note is that um, a Pokemon-like Choice Scarf Terrakion still outspeeds Jolly after a Shell Smash. Oh, okay. So it's not that. It's, it's really... Well, it's a good thing we don't have to worry slow. about Terrakion yet. <laughs> That's fair enough. Yeah, have to wait till December. But then again, people on Showdown are probably going to use old stuff. So, That's true. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it goes. But if I go on Showdown, I'll try and just be like, hey, wait till it comes out on Wi-Fi, because I'll just use, you know, Showdown for testing purposes. But I don't know. 
I guess we'll just see how it goes. Gonna be a completely different metagame, though, so... Yeah. Well, Wi-Fi doesn't even have a metagame. Well, yeah, but it's like... The thing is... Uh, right yeah, <laughs> but people are working to get their teams, because it's, it's a lot easier to get your teams ready, so... That's true, but... Yeah. Not as easy as Showdown. Oh, yeah, of course, but it's like... There's still the factor of... Showdown should still somewhat follow how Wi-Fi would be going, you know? Just because of the fact that there's a ton of things that we technically don't have access to yet, so... Mm -hmm. Like, because Showdown used to follow that trend, too. Like, they waited until something was released. Like, we knew something was going to come out, but we waited until it was released, so... I don't know. I guess we'll just see how it goes. But anyways, next Pokemon. Dray Algae, or Drag Algae. I was excited I love, when I, I, I was excited when I saw the typing, but yeah, after this, that, this was kind of cool yeah. But like after that, it was just kind of in eh, the stats. Like it has good special defense stat, but then after that, it's just kind of like then a decent defense and special attack. But it, then it's just like you know, it just kind of sits fun. there. What mm -hmm. special attack are you going to defend defend against with Poison Dragon? Yeah, sure I mean, sure as hell not Ice. Sure as hell not Psychic. Sure as hell not Dragon. Energy yeah, I mean, oh, it's gonna take water, electric, grass, and fire, and poison, and bug. But it's like, okay. Well, at least it doesn't have a fairy weakness. That's true. I don't know. It, it, it'll still be iffy, but. And it can hit fairies super effective with, um, with Sludge Bomb, bomb if yeah. they want to try and come in on Draco. That's true. If that's your set, of course. So I don't know, but it's just so slow. I I would I have no idea what I would want to run on this. Yeah, it like, also gets Hydro Pump because Scrub, uh, its pre-evolution is a Water type, so it learns Hydro Pump and Surf for coverage as well. Yeah. If that's uh, what you want to use. Yeah. But it has options, but it, it could have been better. So slow. Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I was hoping for a lot better from it, but you know, then it yeah, was just kind of like. It's gonna be half in Trick Room. Yeah. Like, there's no other way that that thing can really truly be offensively useful. anyway. Yeah, yeah, offensively used if it's not. Yeah, used. otherwise it's just kind of gonna kind of have to be defensive. But then it's like it's still not even that great of, at doing it, you know. Well, it depends on move pool. That's true. What if it gets toxic spikes? Yeah, that, that could, could help. Happen. Yeah. Like it totally depends on moves. Yeah. This poke, what it's gonna do. So yeah, I guess we'll see what happens, but. Anyways, next, we got Claw Itzer. Yeah, um, when you see it at first, you're like, well, this is gonna be the most physically overpowering thing ever. But I then... Been working out. <laughs> yeah. His right arm is a lot stronger. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, implications. Okay. But, uh, yes. yeah, it's, uh... <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it's just like... It's different from expectations. Let's go with that. Yeah, this is what I was implying with the Pyro example. Yeah. Ziggler and Crawdon are for now physical attacks. Yeah, physical. but then we just got this, but... It, it's not bad. It's still usable, but it's like... Hey, you can run, uh, run Stab Water Pulse thanks to its ability in Mega Launcher. Oh, yeah. It increases the power of R and Pulse moves by 50%. Mm. And oh, okay. Thanks, coverage. Rich. It has great coverage. It learns uh, Aura Sphere and Dragon Pulse. Oh, okay. For example, That's pretty good. Dark pulse, and it gets U turn. So okay. Like set, All right. Maybe. There we this go. Could definitely be interesting. Yeah. So okay. it'll be interesting. It's just not the best, bestest thing ever. <laughs> so the moves on um, Dragon Pulse was slightly enough from 90 to 85, I believe. As yeah. Well as and Aura Sphere is only 80. Yeah. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Surf so. Is only 90. As well as the lawn moves got uh, <laughs> changed. Yeah. yeah. Generation. All of them special attacks, I think. Always all of them. That's true, actually. Yeah, so. I don't know. It'll, it'll be an interesting Pokemon to see how it goes, so. Anyways, next, we got Heliolisk, which I was excited about when I first saw what its potential base stats were, but then they went down a little bit and I was kind of let down. But it's still I think pretty good. It would be so much better in 5th gen. Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, it, 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 it has three weather abilities. Yeah. Three. <laughs> so well, you can kind of use it and whatever, one. but I don't think it had a fire attack, did it? Like, I feel like this Pokemon is the most random Pokemon they made. This, this. Uh, yeah. 
Is I mean, it's Asian. cool, mm -hmm. and it's Why got some it? nice potential, but it's just kind of weird. It has three really weird abilities for a normal electric type. Oh, yeah. 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 Like this move pool seems to make no sense whatsoever. This thing learns surf. Oh, it does? Okay. Huh? It learns surf. You can huh. surf on this thing. Damn. Does it get a fire attack? Um, not that we know of yet. It does okay. get bow, volt switch, and U-turn, though. Which yeah, I, think is a nice I saw feature. that. Yeah, but, so, I mean, yeah. it'll be an interesting Pokemon, but I don't know. I I just remember when it was, like, base 120 at special attack and speed. I was like, oh, my God, this is so broken. But then they're like, oh, yeah, no, it's it, not. It's, it's 109. I know. I mean, it's it still outpaces, like, Infernape. Yeah, it's that, it's but... still pretty good, but it's just, like, it's just not as high potential as I thought it was going to be, you know? But it's mm -hmm. still got some nice potential to it, and I think it'll be an interesting thing to throw around. Um, I want to say that its abilities are completely random. I mean, I think its design seems to be on a frivolism, so... Yeah. You know, some from the desert, so the dry skin and some that do make sense, but that's just me. Yeah. So, I don't know. It'll yeah, be... I agree. Yeah, it's solar power, like yeah. baking in the sun. Yeah. Somewhere to hide. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Like, that makes, yeah, okay, that, that makes sense. But surf? You yeah, no, no, I can't make sense surf. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes as much sense as Rhydon getting surf, you know? Uh-huh. You gotta remember that. Rhydon gets surf. Hey, if you watch the anime, it makes sense. Okay. <laughs> of course. Whatever you say, Tony. Anyways, let's move on to Tyrantrum. I think everyone is really excited about this one. Like, just rock dragon typing and just how it looked was cool. The but that could. yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's it's got pretty good stats all around. It's got, I mean, its speed stat is respectable enough. It's got good defense, nice, very nice attack, and then you know, its special defense is Isn't, kind yeah. of eh. But it's got a decent HP stat, so I don't know. It's it's pretty usable, so it, it, it'll be an interesting thing to fight around. <clears throat> I don't know. There's rumors that it gets Dragon Dance. Okay, that will be annoying if it does. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> I would probably go Choice Bad or Choice Car. I feel yeah. like this Pokemon is perfect for hit and run. Oh yeah, of course. Like it, it. it's. Because it's, no matter what, like, no matter what attack you'd probably go for with it, it's going to do a massive amount of damage, even if it's resisted, so it's going to, you know, work, I guess. <laughs> uh -huh. But, uh, yeah, Tiger Rantrum's a pretty cool dude. But next, we got Aurorasis. Aurorus. Aurorus, whatever, I care so much. But, uh... <laughs> He cares so much they need to make a video about it. <laughs> exactly. Anyways, uh, Refrigerate is an interesting ability, and then it's got Snow Warning too, but I don't know, Refrigerate, it fucked me up when I was in the gym, because I only had uh, Braxian and Ivysaur, so it was like, oh, hit you with Rock-type shit to kill Braxian when Braxian's doing nothing, and then just kill your Ivysaur with a takedown. But anyways, um... In general. Oh, yeah. I can see how that works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Overall, it's got pretty okay bulk, and I know it has access to Calm Mines, so... It can do some nice stuff. Yeah, but defensively, it's horrible. It's oh, horrible. yeah, of course. It's like, it's... Typing, rock, ice, I mean... It... Yeah, that's... Offensively, that's great. Defense. Yeah. Yeah. Horrible. yeah. Defensively, it's, it's like... It's yeah, like, it's, it's gonna get its shit pushed I, in pretty stat, easily, that's but... It's gonna take long for that thing to die to a mock punch or a close combat yeah. or something like that. I mean, it has nice offensive capability, it's just that defense stat, it's just like... And it's just, just the it's typing. Awesome. And steel? Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's just a fighting and steel, so yeah. it's gonna die a lot slower to close combats and or gyro walls. Yeah. Like, it had good potential and all, but it's just, it's it has to fall short, you know? <clears> Unfortunately. <throat> But, oh well, that's how it goes. And then next... <gasps> oh, the Eeveelution! Sylveon! Wait, can, I, can, I, uh, can I say one more thing about the... Sure. The rock Ice. Yeah. Um, Go ahead. How many Pokemon do you think will be able to take a Choice Specs Hyper Beam from this? Oh, oh yeah, that's... <laughs> that's like the first thing I thought. I need to run Hyper Beam on this. Oh, yeah, of course. Like, oh, God. We were saying the same thing about uh, Porygon, the 
is it? When yep. It first came out. It's like Nazi plot, Hyper B. I think Blissey gets over. Yeah, Blissey dies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that this thing is like, oh, I'm going to sit here and uh, have a stab Hyper Beam? Okay. Yeah. I, I mean and then that it dies the next turn because it has ten thousand weaknesses. But that's still yeah. pretty cool, though. I mean, it's like there's no denying that's cool as shit. Oh, and it's a stuff cover thing due to refrigerates. It's a oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, it, it, the ability makes it a, a hyper beam, the ice type. Yeah, all normal moves are ice type. So yeah. Stuff. Yeah. So I mean, it, it it'll be pretty cool. So. But, I mean, it's just the fact that it's defensive typing, yeah, it's going to bring it down way too much. But it'll still be cool to, you know, throw around in lower tiers. But, anyways, next, we got Sylveon. So, yeah, yeah they decided to throw the good stats in special defense and special attack. So, I mean, it's like... It's basically like a fairy type Umbreon that can yeah. hit you hella hard. In special attack. Oh yeah, it's got Umbreon special defense and Vaporeon special attack. attack yeah. Yep, and uh, and Umbreon's HP stat as well. Yep, yep. So that move blast is just that good. Yeah, so it'll be a pretty good. Uh, I don't know. It'll be like mid tier, I think. It's not gonna be that high tiered, I would imagine. Why not? Just wondering. Uh, I don't I would, know. I would what does it put, need? I would like, actually put this in OU to be honest. Well, let's see. Hold on. Let's, cause what hits it on the physical side? Actually, the only thing. Oh, poison steel and poison. Steel. That's yeah, cause I I think poison typing is just gonna go up and like poison type moves are gonna go up anyways. So it's I don't know. Anyway, for the like, time, for the, at least early. Yeah. Like the best physical poison move is what cross poison. Gunk shot. No, it it's no, gunk, gunk shot. Right. Gunk shot is now stone edge's accuracy, Ooh. which is still not amazing, but it's it's something. Yeah. Poison, uh, so. But I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it all goes. But it, it'll it'll be a cool mon to throw around at the very least. I think it's pixelate very... is um. Oh yeah, pixelate. <laughs> That's gonna be. Which is basically the fairy type refrigerates. Yep. That's gonna be an annoying thing. See, the first but... thing I'm thinking is curse last resort right now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, it, my hipster mind uh, going crazy, but mm. that, that would that would destroy shit. Oh yeah, but w- w- nice body slam too. I mean, yeah, it, it, nice it, support body slam. Great. Yeah, pixelate will be really good for it, so it'll make it a lot more potent. But you just gotta wait for it to. Yeah, really though, like what move would really benefit from that? I mean, it has Moonblast. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. I don't, I feel it, like it's still a nice thing to throw useful, around, Like, you know? priority fairy type against dragons, maybe? <laughs> yeah, but why not, right? It's attack stat is so low. Yeah. I mean, I don't unless know. it has a new type to, um, new type move to usually abuse, and I think cute shot. No, man, you gotta as use as gay, that. As gay as it is. No, here you go. Pix- <laughs> pixelate hyper beam, man. Pixelate hyper beam. <laughs> of course. Yeah, I guess you could use that. It does have a good special attack. Yeah, so... Mm-hmm. It's just... We gotta find out its move pool, really. Like, besides Moonblast, like, can't get anything else that's useful. And as annoying as it is, I think for Sylveon, unless I'm forgetting about something huge, um, Q-Charm is better. Yeah, probably, because it doesn't really get much that really needs to go Fairy-type for normal moves, so... A Q-Charm is just... Yeah. But it, it's good still God. an interesting thing to have it's around, so... We'll see how it goes. Anyways, next we got How Lucha. Uh, Lucha uh, yes. Mucha Lucha. I really Mucha like Lucha. its typing. It's got a good speed stat, but then its attack stat is kinda iffy, but it's still pretty usable. Learn source stats. Yeah. As well as Unburden. As well as acrobatics. Yeah, so, so time, acrobatics. it'll it'll be pretty good, I think. Like Chase, just... have you uh, seen its uh, signature move? Uh no. Flying press, which is a fighting and fighting move, but it's also a flying move as well. Oh yeah, I heard there are like some dual type moves this gen. That'd be cool. Which I'm still getting used to using because I'm kicking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but how lucha? That'll be a pretty cool thing to use around, because that speed stat's gonna just get over a lot of things and just yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. 
That's all I gotta say. No, it's also it learns um, high jump kick, if I'm oh. mistaken. Well, damn. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's so gonna be really good. Dance, acrobatics, fly jam, high jump kick, and filler. filler. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be pretty good, so. Just switch attacks that was a little higher, but I can live with it. Although I haven't said that, it also has um, other abilities which are more previous and got Limber as well. Yeah, so I mean, as well as Mole Breaker. Limber will be um, a pretty good thing to use on it. Like I'd probably rather use Limber than Unburden, just because. Well, I don't know, maybe. Like Mole Unburden Breaker could be nice with high jump kick. I guess. Yeah. Uh, sturdy That's... stealth rock users. Uh -huh. Yep. Like Gigalith and Golem and yeah. Pokemon like that that just lead off, set up stealth rock and die. Yeah. So all of its abilities are pretty good, and just with the access to Sword Dance, that'll help out a lot. So, Absolutely. yeah. Anyways, next we got Den Dene. Or D Dene. D Dene. Um, <laughs> um, I agree. <laughs> it's, it's the Pikachu of this generation. It's yeah. like Pachirisu, much as mean and impulsive. It's horrible. Let's just leave it at that. It's horrible. You can see right there. It's horrible. It's not, it's not even that cute either. Like, what the hell? Yeah. So, I mean, the only thing no one of it is Electric Fairy. I think that's all that needs to be said. You want to move on? The proper Zekrom counter. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. I'm done. Moving on. I'm done. Yep. Next, we got Carbink. Oh, I love this thing. It's, I hope it's, it's useful. It's, a, it's the shuckle of this gen. No, that's it's actually insane. accurate. Yeah. Huh. That is disgustingly accurate. It's not as... It's got fairy yeah. typing. Times were weak to steal... And then weak to ground and grass. Otherwise, and water. And water. But otherwise, it's not too bad. Yes. Like, I don't know, does it get access to toxic? I know it gets access to stealth rocks. And also yep. seen it also gets access to calm mind and moon blast. Okay. Does it have any recovery moves? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. I was probably going to use rest, rest talk. Okay. Calm mind, moon blast. Yeah. yeah. So that's not too bad. Because you can just invent some defense and HP and you're good. So, yeah. I mean, it won't be yeah, the best thing ever, but... This is God, thanks to Fairy, so that's yep. really nice, too. Yeah, so, it'll be an interesting Triple thing, though. Weak to steal, though. Yeah, I, I saw that, like, well, okay. But, it won't be too bad, I guess. I agree. Anyways, so next... Instead of Stealth Rock. Yeah, that's true. Already worth using it. Yeah. Anyways, next, we got Gudra. This, this is pretty cool. The pure dragon of this generation. Yep. The pink blob. <laughs> that oh, turns into way, a dragon. Uh, before we continue, I would like to inform everyone who is watching who wants to use this in game. Um, it's pre evolution, evolves into Gudra at level 50 in the rain. Yep, yep, it says right here level 50 in rain. Make sure you level it up to level 50 in rain, otherwise, it will not evolve. <laughs> oh, it's and one of those things again. Just, see, seeing as we're doing that, then if we're going back to Pangoro. It, yeah, He's we we top already. Top oh yeah, we didn't actually say anything about it. Yeah, that's you have to have a dark in your party, isn't it? Like something like that. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. On that note, to level up Eevee to Sylveon, you have to level it up learning a fairy move. Yeah. <laughs> All this you can find on your friendly Serebii website. But anyways, exactly. Gudra, I think it's pretty cool. It's Gudra though. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. cause just dragon. Special defensive typing, that's pretty good. And so it's like, you can just have this thing tank the shit out of stuff. Like, sure, there's ice and dragon and fairy, but after that, you take a lot of hits and you're doing a lot for your team. And it has a respectable special attack that, like, what I was thinking of doing was, like, making it a calm nature. It has a high base special defense, so you don't even need to invest in it. Just throw stuff in defense and special attack and then HP and you're golden, I think. Right, how do you beat fairies then? Uh, use other stuff. <laughs> you can also team. go, like, specs or something. Something offensive. Oh, yeah, true. It, it has pretty respectable speed, so you can go offensive with it, too. But I think it's just going to be a monster defender. Like, just that special really? defense I test. don't know. I don't know. I... I think it'll be pretty good. But Yeah, okay, it, of course, it has such good stats, like, a stat total, but I just don't like how it's divided over the... Yeah, yeah. The if it had a bit better defense stat, it would be better, but 
Uh, it's wolf bull, by the way. It's ridiculous. It well, it, it, it's what learns literally everything there is to attack with. Yeah, uh, so I mean that's gonna power really power help it out. So, focus blast, ice beam, muddy water, <laughs> slush bomb, no, muddy bomb. water, and not to mention hydration. So running in rain. So rain and, is not this generation. Yeah, rain, but so. I mean it's still something you can do. You know. I would say that maybe a better one of you would be probably sap sipper, so you yeah. can't be put to sleep, sleep powder or spore. Oh yeah, that's or true too. Or the seeds, mm -hmm. yeah. Like that. Yeah. I don't know. But it at least has rest talking, so that's something that'll work for it too. Better can dragon tail with those fairies. Yeah. Does it get dragon tail though? Yeah, it does. Oh, okay. Because so I was on uh, Showdown and it didn't show dragon tail on there when I was trying to make a Gudra, but if it gets dragon tail. I think they update daily though. So okay. I just have to keep checking back. Alright. Well, Gudra. I think it's cool, so... I think Gooey is at least something noteworthy. The concept of the Pokemon knows the attack is speed stuff, so... Oh, yeah, Gooey's kind of cool, too, so... And that's that'll kind of help with... Ability, by the way. Yeah. yeah. That'll kind of help with its uh, speed stat a little bit. Yeah. Anyways, next, we got Clefiki. Ah, uh, the or Clefiki. Pokemon ever made. So, we best. see it at one first, one and you're like, fucking uh, keys... But then, you see, it's typing, and it's prankster ability, and it's move pool. It's gonna be a competitive mod. Yeah. Yeah. Just the only problem is it's stats iffy, but it's just the fact that you can get Irrelevant. so much yeah. setup done with this thing. It's like, well, yeah. fuck me. Prankster, prankster makes up for it being a fucking keychain yeah. Pokemon. Yep. Why? Can't freak, Why? Yeah, that's... Yeah, guys, um, it gets spikes of prankster. Spikes and it gets screens. Yeah. And it gets it'll, Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave it'll, taunt as well. It'll be, it'll be an amazing lead prankster dual screen yep. abuser. Basically, fucking Game Freak. And I mean, it, it, it's it's weak to what, only ground and fire? Yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, gra ground and fire. God damn. That's gonna be annoying. I think the only thing that makes this Pokemon slightly better is if one of those keys looks like a nice Italian sports car. <laughs> and on that oh, note, let's uh, let's move on to uh, Trevenant. Yes. Ooh. All right. <laughs> uh, eh, I, I like its typing, but other than that, it's like it's got a good attack stat. After that, it's just kind of I don't know. It'd be great if this thing got Trick Room. Oh yeah. But otherwise, it's it's kind of cool. Stuff. It's not too bad at the very least. But it's not as good as the other grass goes, though. Oh yeah. My opinion. Do you want to just go on to that, or you got anything else to say about this? Uh, well, Woodhammer is gonna be crazy strong from this thing. It also gets um a non-legendary version of Shadow Force. Oh okay. Which it works exactly the same. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, Takes right. two sounds. Yeah, it's ninety base power instead of. Oh, instead of the, instead of one twenty, yeah. Still yeah, an right. it, interesting it's thing. Niches. It also gets destiny bonds, so if you do get like a trick room set, you could go a uh, trick room wood hammer, uh, shadow claw, or that ghost type of <laughs> I was talking about. Phantom force is what it's called, and then destiny bond where you get uh, checked or you know you won't be able to kill your opponent and take it with yeah. you. Yeah. So, trick room would make this Pokemon a lot better, but you could also just go. Maybe, I don't know, Choice Band? Choice Band Woodhammer is just gonna... Yeah, it, 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 yeah, can, it has the potential to hit very hard, but it's just after that, it's like, eh. So, um, Tony, why don't you talk about um, a Harvest set of um, Lychee Berry? Yeah, I was thinking, um, because uh, what I like to do in Black and White with Executor is something I tried out. You need luck and a nice situation to pull this off, but oh, you so. can get in a situation where your opponent knocks you down to a range where you're uh, berry activates, in Trevenant's case, Leechy Berry. You go for Trick Room on that turn. You get your uh, Leechy Berry. You're then faster. You start knocking out things because of the attack boost and your max attack investment. And every time you kill something, you have a 50% chance of Harvest getting you another Leechy Berry, and which will immediately activate because you're still at low HP. Huh. So something similar to Executor. That's pretty cool. If that works. And there's, yeah. of course, priority as well. Yeah. Like Pokemon that got to be even slower than Trevenant, like Ferrothorns and things yeah. like that, that we'll be able to check it in Trick Room. But 
still, that's something I, I wanted to try out. It's like a fun, gimmicky thing to use. But yeah. it's not that amazing. Yeah. Uh-huh. But anyways, let's move on to Gorgeist. That, this thing is kind of weird. Like, I think it, it's going to be amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. In competitive play. Let's see, because I'm just kind of gazing through its stats just to see like which one is kind of the best. It looks like its huge one might kind of be one of the better ones, I guess. Some like, of them are really quick. Like, uh, the small-sized one Yeah, it's has 99 speed. Yeah. The Gorgeist uh-huh. is equally fast as Genesect and, and Zerny as an Eiffel Pump. Like, a fucking yeah. pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, it'll be in it. Thought. It'll be pretty interesting, I guess, but I don't know. I don't think it'll be that amazing. But think about it as a spin blocker. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Not a lot of rapid but... spinners can break through it. I mean, in, in OU, there's it's Pokemon Star like Starmie. Yeah. Star yeah. Extra will be back. I'm pretty sure. Due to the young... Yep. <laughs> extra draw cannot do anything to this, though. Yeah. Yeah. The best it can do is, is Iron Head with Adam and Life Orb or something. But if yep. you uh, go for the fattest version, which has a lot of HP and defense, that's acceptable. And this thing gets both Will-O-Wisp and Bleed Seed. Fuck. Yeah. That's so, not going to be fun. And I think especially in Ubers, I'm not sure how many of your viewers find this relevant at all, but the spinners commonly used in Ubers are going to have a lot of trouble with this Pokemon. So yeah. Oh, it's... yes. Yeah. I could, I could see that, actually. They're so, going to... Ooh, yeah, man, they're, gonna, they're gonna hate this thing. Pokemon like Fortress, <laughs> Kabutops, Excadrill. Um, mm-hmm. This is this. Yeah, like can be an issue. This Pokemon yeah. just straight up just deals with all of them. It gets Shadow Sneak too, so you can pick off Mewtwo's. I don't know. It's 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 useful. Yeah. I think it's gonna be a useful Pokemon. It, it'll be interesting to see it. So I'm very excited to try it out. Oh yeah, I can see why. <laughs> Anyways, next we got the Iceberg Avalug. Physical defense. Yes, yeah. with oh, ice oh. typing. Can, can someone say red dice? I was actually just about to say that. It has better HP though, and has an oh, amazing oh, attack uh, stat. A physically defensive red dice. Yeah. Red dice had high special. Yeah, but then there's that special defense downfall, and it's like, oh, fire. Okay. Joey made the uh, comparison to a uh, flipped cryogonal. Oh that yeah, was... yeah. I can actually see that. So basically, here's this gen's cryogonal. And that's all we gotta say about that, I think. Well, its defense stat is much higher. Oh yeah. Cryogonal special defense. And so, it has pretty decent attack too. Yeah. Oh yeah, its attack stat is base one fourteen, so. One seventeen. Oh, one seventeen. Same difference. It learns surf. Okay. Yeah. With it the... floats. It you floats can sit on, on it. It's an iceberg. <laughs> it's the iceberg. Oh, nice. iceberg. <laughs> okay. And with that, let's go to. Noivern. Oh, Noivern's interesting. Oh, yeah, uh, Noivern. It's, it's worth noting that this Pokemon learns Rapid Spin. Okay. It probably learns Rapid Spin. And um, due to its low speed stat, it has no problem uh, running Avalanche, which will be a very yeah. good move to use on this Pokemon due to its high attack stat and Ice being good offensively. Yep. I hope it gets Ice Shard. Oh, yeah, that would help it out a lot. And it also gets Recover. So oh, okay. this Pokemon, as a lower-tier Rapid Spin user, which yeah. lower tiers does not have a lot of, yeah. I think will be usable. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just gotta... You gotta be really careful on the special side is the only thing. But otherwise, it's pretty cool. Yep. But anyways, next, Noivern. It's I love Noivern. It's so High-ass speed, decent special attack. Doesn't it get Nasty Pot or Calm Mind or something? I don't think it does. Oh, it fuck. It does get Hurricane, though. Okay. Okay, yeah, if it, it was able, as well, so okay. it yeah, if it was able nice to specs. boost, then I think it would be a lot better. But that's still a respectable enough special attack stat to abuse with the choice specs. So, I I also like how um, its ability infiltrator goes through screens, and for that matter, safeguard. Oh yeah, that'll help it out a lot. Just because it, it's gonna I need it, I think. To Klefki, the keychain. Uh, <laughs> fucking keychain, motherfucker! Okay, Who so asked you? There we have it. Yep. Yeah, anyways. It's, it's beginning. <laughs> uh, yeah. Basically a pretty standard dragon. Yeah. Um, it, it's nice. it's I, pretty I cool, like though. It. Yeah, it'll I be... I wish it had more, like, offensive-based stats, but... Yeah. Nah. It, it'll defensively be... and offensively, um, it's very comparable to Flygon stats. Oh, yeah. Flygon 
it's different in use. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what I see that. If this has a stealth arc weakness that I think Flygon's main niche was how it was able to check everything with just two moves and yeah. then U turn and was basically immune to entry hazards. Yep. But this mm -hmm. of course has way more offensive use due to a much more usable special attack stat and Draco and Yeah. Dragon Pulse, Flamethrower. In yeah. combination with U turn. So I feel like it mixes Dragonite and Flygon nicely. Yeah. So yeah, this will be a thing you're gonna have to watch out for. I, so yeah, I think it's gonna be fun to use. Oh yeah, of course. So and you can use Frisk as well to scout for opponents' items. Oh, items too. oh yeah, that'll be pretty nice a too. A lot of a lot of interesting Pokemon got Frisk this generation. Yeah. So mm -hmm. don't be put off to use that because it can be a very. Oh very yeah, because then it can also help scout for Megas too. That's actually a good point. Mm. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Anyways, next, let's go to Xerneas. Oh, ah. Let's see, 99 base speed, but then really good attack stats, and very high HP. Hmm. And it gets Chase, I, I, I can't wait to hear your opinion about Xerneas. I uh, think it'll be pretty interesting. Because doesn't it get, like, a pretty good... Yeah, doesn't it get a pretty good move pool? Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, give me a gist of it. Let's go with that. Um, well... I, uh, I can tell you that it learns uh, a unique setup move at least okay. this point you need. It's, um, it's called Geomancy or Geomancy. I'm not sure what the pronunciation is. Okay. Yeah, Geomancy. But it's uh, a sky attack type move in regards of it has to charge one turn and then the attack okay. kicks in the second. Okay. But the second turn contains of a double quiver dance. So two special attack raises two special defense raises, and two speed raises. Another FUCK! Thing to note, Chase, another interesting thing to note is you can use this with Power Her. Which means... You FUCK! Quiver Dance twice on one turn. Also. And at that point, Fuck. it's wise for, your, for just to click forfeit and just move on with your life because it's gotta be over. FUCK! And it's pure fairy. That's all I gotta say about that! Your fairy. Anyways, Yulvatal, or however the fuck it's pronounced. Also, it's very good. Let's see here. Oh, god damn. It has, it, they're very similar it has the exact, in base. It has the exact same. They have the exact same. So it's exact. basically just a typing difference, but. <laughs> who can very fucking complain? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does it get anything similar to Xerneas? No. Okay. Gets, uh, so basically. Everything it needs, barring crunch. Okay, that's uh, that's good. That's good. So it'll still be a very potent uh, threat. Ivaltal is is going to be ridiculously versatile. Like as soon as you see Ivaltal come in in an Umbra's battle, you will not have a single clue what set it will be. It can run substitute disable. Uh, by the way, its signature move. Have you heard about that, Chase? No. It's called Oblivion Wing. It's an eighty base power special attack. That. And it's kind of like Giga Drain, but Giga Drain recovers 50% of the damage done. Oblivion Wing recovers 75. Damn. So that's actually going to be an amazing move. So much broken! And another thing to note is that uh, Steel types no longer resist Dark. Yeah, I heard about, They don't resist Dark so, or Ghost anymore, so Steel oh typing got nerfed to hell. Yeah, your, your Steel Ghost is... Nah. Yeah. There's only a very few Pokemon that actually can switch in on a Dark Pulse from Ivoltal, because Ivoltal also has the ability Dark Aura. With, yeah. Yeah, with Pouts. Yeah, and just Dark action. Typing is such a good offensive typing, so it's like... Fuck. Yeah, like, Fighting Types and Fairy Types switch in now, and Fighting Types are, of course, destroyed by its Flying Typing yep. attacks. Yep, 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 yep. So, basically... Yeah. Another very good Uber Pokemon. There's no way this is... It's gonna be really yeah. good. Really fun to use. It's yeah. very, very versatile. It learns acrobatics as well. It can Fuck. really do anything. Sucker Punch to check Mewtwo. It Shit. It's everything. Well... And both have, both have really good uh, speed stats. Well, both yeah, nice. that base 99 speed is pretty it's good. Great yeah. Yep. Yeah. Tie, both of them tie with Genesect. Anyways, yeah, um, above Rayquaza and yeah, Kira, Kira, <laughs> so it's the most uh, Yeah. Anyways, Very from cool. that brokenness, let's go to Zygrade. or Zar Please, Zargade. Yeah, yeah. We found out today that its stats are nowhere near as good as 
At least if, if yeah, let's uh, scroll down thing. to these stats right here. So, what, what was originally projected to be 130 defense and special defense has now become 121 defense and 95 special defense. Yeah, that and in combination with a ground dragon type typing, that's yeah, and those attacking stats are pretty mediocre. Like you don't need switching. me to tell you that. Like you can just tell, you know. However, I think we should have a discussion about this thing's ability because this is highly interesting. Oh yeah, aura break. Yeah, that'll help check Xerneas and Yotal a lot. It's still that's... weak to Moonblast, you know. Oh that, yeah, right? it, yeah. It still has a weakness to fairy type attack. Yeah, so, no, no, you know, but, but uh, that's and its special defense stat got absolutely obliterated. Yeah, so I mean, this will be a pretty cool dude in OU, I think, but it's not going to get much more than that. It's definitely going to be OU in the beginning, yeah. I think. There's no reason to bat this thing. Oh, yeah. No, no. Fuck no. Yeah, this is... it's, it's that bad. Does it have any setup moves? Um, I know. I'll check real quick. Because I haven't checked on Zygarde in a while. Okay. Yeah, Anything, I, I think you will need to just wait for uh, Z for this alternative uh, form. Which you, uh, know, you know it's coming. Yeah. Some interesting things it does have uh, confirmed right now is... Uh, I think a signature move called Lance Wrath, okay. which is basically uh, a 90 power ground type attack, physical, Okay. Uh, no additional effect. No reason to run that over Earthquake in single battles, it seems. Yeah. Um, haze, possibly interesting. Nice. Glare, with 100% accuracy this generation. Yeah. That's it. This Pokemon is just straight up mediocre. Yeah, but... For an Uber. Yeah. For oh, yeah. So, I mean, it, it's gonna be OU. But it. it'll still be a cool OU, to say the least. Well, I mean, even if the, um... Its defenses had remained that way, I still wouldn't think... Or, I would still be inclined to think that it's not that good. Just because, again, Ground, ground Dragon is horrible defensive typing. Yeah. I mean, it... Even if, like I said, even if it would have had those... You know, 130 base defense specialist. I don't think that its typing would have really complemented that too well. Yeah, but it'll still be an interesting, dude, to say the least. Not to completely destroy this Pokemon, but actually, um, if this thing would not even make the usage stats in OU and become BL, would not shock me. Yeah, that's true. Like, I wouldn't be uh -huh. that surprised like, either. I'm I'm looking for reasons to use this Pokemon. There like, really is it like add to your team? I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't even use it. Like it's just. Or compared it to other ground dragon rock. types. <laughs> I feel like if it gets Stealth Rock, that would help it a lot. Oh yeah, but after that, it's just like. And then okay. it may come in competition with um, I guess Old Trump, I guess. So, yeah. yeah. Or even just Jolly Garchomp with Stealth Rock. True. Yeah. It looks like it was like. Made in, like some Klefki being an OU probably biological lab. Mm. If, that's if that doesn't get bad, I feel like Klefki is a better Uber than Tigard. <laughs> I, think, I, think Klefki, I wouldn't be surprised if Klefki gets banned. So. Oh yeah, Klefki, that's gonna be I'm, I'm, I'm so annoying. Uh, yeah, but anyways, so, um, enough about Zygarde. Now we're gonna go to the Megas. I think that's gonna be the fun part. So first we got Mega Venusaur, which uh, it's pretty Very good. good. Like, good defensively. yeah, defensive so stats. Has, has one weakness. Yeah, so with it's, with it's, the uh, addition of thick fat and two, the fact that. Two, two. Yeah, but with the fact that it has thick fat, you remove two of its weaknesses, give it good defensive typing, and you give it synthesis. It's it's gonna get annoying really quick. So, but I mean, ab apart from that, it's not gonna be that amazing, but it's still gonna be pretty good, I think. It's already a defensive monster to begin with. Okay. Yeah. She's gonna sit there and just absorb. Absorbing. Yeah. Know. Basically. It's gonna sleep powder, and it's it's yeah. Yeah. It's it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, of course. Anyways, yeah. let's go to the thing that everyone has been freaking dream. out about. <laughs> the dream. Mega it's goddamn Charizard true. X and Mega goddamn Charizard Y. Both are really good in their own regard. I'll say that much. Because Mega yeah. Charizard X, it's got that great. You know, it's got. Really good uh, boosts all around. Great defense, great special defense, good attack, good special attack, and Tough Claws boosts that attack stat, so you can do a lot of shit, and it's not times for weak to rock, so it's just like, you got very nice potency going right there. With the addition of target bombs. Oh yeah, of course. Oh my god. Just like, fuck off everything, I'm going to fuck your shit up with this Charizard right here. Okay, is it confirmed that 
confirmed that uh, that Stealth Rock's max damage is... is no, we went percent. over this. It's or, it, it was oh, a rumor. Did, I think Rich means against oh, Mega Charizard X because it's yeah. Fire Dragon. No, oh, yeah. it's only Mega Evolve when you attack. So as soon oh, as yeah, you so yeah, you'd still switch in, so never mind. Right, so that's not, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah well, that's true. Well, regardless that's... of that... Um, I think Mega Charizard X is going to be like a better, um, like a better attacking uh, mix notes. Oh yeah, sure. yeah, it'll be pretty good. It really does depend on how um, I think this meta works. With That's the true. Evolutions due to yeah. the fact that you need to bring it in first. And you can also only have. have it's also worth stuff. noting you can only Mega Evolve once in a battle. Yeah. So I mean, that's gonna be a thing too. So I don't know. But uh, Mega Charizard Y gets Drought, base 159 special attack. Yeah, that nope. thing's godly too. To put that into perspective, for those of you not too at home with uh, uh, base stats, that is more special attack than Palkia and Dialga have, for example. It's ridiculously Yeah, high. so... Fucking Mega Charizard. That's it. That's it. Drought easier, I've seen. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it's it's a, it's a better Reshiram. Maybe <laughs> Mercargo would be a better better drought user compared to that. That's true because this <laughs> has nothing. Yeah. But, I mean to do with the other web starters, but again, web has been nerfed this gen. Yeah. Also, can people stop saying that uh, a zoom rule fairy water is a check to Charizard? Oh yeah. It's, it's neutral. <laughs> Please stop. I'm tired of seeing it. Your uh, comments they hurt my brain. Anyways, yeah. let's stop hurting Sour's brain and go on to Mega Blastoise X, or Mega Blastoise. Why was I going to say X? But anyways, Mega, Mega Blastoise. Blastoise. I like Y better. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, Mega Blastoise. Like, if it had a higher speed stat, I would be fucking excited for it. But uh, it's pretty cool, but it's just like, I mean. It's still a nice tank. I'm yeah, it's going to be a nice tank, nice but other than that, it's just like, I don't know. It, it'll still be pretty good. Pretty good. Give me what survives. Nothing. Mega Launcher. Uh, Palkia does. Not if it gets freeze dry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, I mean. Yeah, you you're gonna bring up Palkia. You're gonna use this in Uber? Because totally. Kyogre is also a nice special attack in water type you can use. <laughs> I know, but anyway. Uh, I like it a lot, actually. Yeah, Mega Blastoise is pretty good. It's got some nice base stats all around. Just wish its speed was a little bit higher, but it's still very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, focus blast for Ferrothorn, which is also boosted by its ability, I believe. Oh damn! Um, does anyone know if uh, Water Pulse is stronger than Hydro Pump? Or uh, no, it wouldn't be. Nah, because fifty percent it would only bring Water Pulse up to I think ninety and, and then Hydro stab one ten. Yeah, it would er be great if it learned our Sphere, by the way. Like a that would be oh yeah, uh, that would, would be sense, so good. To be honest. Yeah. Anyways, what's the next Mega? I think it's Alakazam. Mega, mega Alakazam. Alakazam. That's it. I just which gotta... now has the ability Trace, which is... Uh... But... It's a good ability, but when you're used to Magic Arc, nothing is a good ability yeah. anymore. Yeah, but here it's we still stats. got that base 150 speed and base 175 special attack. Wait, wait, wait uh -huh. still? Yep. Uh-huh. Yep, that's confirmed. 175 special attack, 150 speed. <sighs> Fuck. Hello, Mega Gengar switch in. Yup, that's like one of the and, few things. And it can trace Shadow Tag and instantly kill it back. Oh, oh that's a good point to note. That's Gengar counter. Easy. Yeah, but it can't switch in on Mega Gengar. That's the only thing. It's a check. It's the, no, the ultimate exactly. check. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry, it sorry. is. It is the yeah, ultimate check to Mega Gengar okay. is okay. Mega Alakazam. Best, yeah, that's Mega Gengar yeah, check. It's... I do apologize. It, yeah, okay. but... Just those stats right there, it's just like, goodbye. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that's all you really got to say about it. It's just, that's, yeah. That's, that's what, out of Mega Evolution's, like, second highest special attack ever behind Sh Mewtwo. Yeah, so. Get up Stealth Rock and kill it with Bullet Punch or Pursuit. Just yeah, I mean, it's like, hazards out. are going to be very important to get rid of this thing, or just having a Scarf user, oh. you know? Okay, hold on. Based upon, based upon what y'all were saying earlier about... Charizard is still switching in on that. Won't Alexander issue still switch in? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If it's still, if it has Magic Guard, yeah, that's true. Then, Damn it. Uh, okay, so I guess Focus Sash is still viable then. Yeah. Okay. Good point. Good point. Well, no, no. 
No, because you can't run Focus Sash and Mega Stone. Oh, Boom! But you can still switch in on the hazards. That is true. Have Magic Guard, have it switch in, have it still be at full HP, and then use that, and then. Yeah, so that's gonna be really I'm annoying. No, no wait, I lied. Because Mega Gengar can essentially switch out on Mega Al uh, on Alakazam. Like oh yeah, Gengar. yeah, that's true. The ability yet, and actually, shoot, no, Mega Gengar can actually be faster than Alakazam, and if it's locked in, just, and if it has Shadow Ball, I can just kill it. Never mind. No, Mega Gengar is slower. Are you sure? Is it? Yeah. No, Mega Gengar is on to I, I, I'm it, sure. Yeah, Mega Gengar is next, and I'm, I'm looking at it right now, but anyways, That's Mega cool. Alakazam, it's fucking good, but Mega Gengar is also fucking good. I think, yeah. I think, I think the Mega Gengar Knight, or whatever the fuck it's called, it's Gengar Pounds. Shadow Tag. Oh, yeah, I... Psh, Mega Gengar. I mean, I think Mega Gengar and maybe Mega Alakazam, I mean, they're just... They're gonna hit way too fucking hard, but it's just Did like... Did you see this AD defense that? Yeah, yeah, 80 defense, a, 95 special defense. Like, that really helps defense out. Gengar, yeah. that's impressive. <laughs> and just those... Look at that speed and special attack stat. I mean, it's just... I mean, the moment I saw that, I was just like... I, okay. But yeah, yeah that's... No, if, if this thing is timid, yeah, Alakazam can't switch in on it because it'll just get outpaced and then get hit by a Shadow Ball and then just get obliterated. Yeah. But anyways, that is Mega Gengar. It's just, it's fucking good. That's all you really got to say about it. That was a good thought. But... Yeah. I anyways. I like how um, Venusaur is, is, um, is defensively probably the best well-rounded Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Overall, okay. well-roundedness is maybe Kangaskhan, which is... Uh, oh, Mega Kangaskhan right here. The stats oh, yeah. on that are... There's no flaw. Yeah, and then Parental Bond? Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, I mean, double what are you? Fake out? Double anything? Quadruple, quadruple double hit. Yeah, quadruple just, double just, hit. I, I don't. I don't. I just don't. Um. Anyways, that's that's that. Uh, let's see. What's next? Gyarados? No, Pinsir. Oh, Pinsir. Yeah, yeah, it gets I'm flying excited. typing, oh, like uh, 105 speed. I mean, it's pretty well-rounded, just low HP, but... Have you seen its uh, new ability? Yeah, Aerial Light, that's like... good. Holy shit. Which and then that base 155 attack. Yeah, goddamn, that's... Dude, Mega Pinsir looks scary as hell. Yeah, that's gonna be a threat, <laughs> to say the least. A staff flying times return or double edge? Oh, yeah, like, goddamn. That's gonna be good. Mega Pinsir's Very cool. And on note of cool, let's go to underwhelming. Mega Gyarados. Wait, Mega Gyarados is Water Dark? It's not Water Dragon? Water Dark. God damn it. They yeah, better that's... crunch. They better give it crunch. Because if yeah. this gets crunch, a dragon that set would be very good. Yeah, that's true. But honestly, it's still kind of underwhelming. But... Hey, that special bulk, though. That's true. Is that that does make it up for make up for it a bit, but it's still just... Honestly, I'm not a, that impressed by it. Hey man, Garavai, I like, can make the comeback. Uh, <laughs> God damn it, no. On no. That note, <laughs> on that note, let's move on to Mega Aerodactyl. Yes, oh my god, I forgot about Mega Aero. 150 Mega speed, Aero. 135 attack, tough claws. That's gonna be so good. Fuck it! Fuck it! Alright, so leveling my Adam and Aerodactyl right now. Okay. Mm. Oh good. I'm, I'm prepared. Yeah, that's Mega Aerodactyl. It's just... I don't have anything else to say about it. It's going to be fucking good. And then... Back, baby. <laughs> and then, let's go to the star of everyone's show, Mega Mewtwo. Oh, First wait, all... can I note one more thing? Sure. Uh, tough Claws, the ability Mega yeah. Aerodactyl has. Powers of moves that make direct contact. That yeah. does not include Stone Edge. Oh, damn. Oh yeah, well. Like, oh, I still can make so. pretty good use of it, though. Crunch, Brave Bird. Yeah, but Aerodactyl doesn't learn Brave Bird. Shh. Yeah. Shh. Shh. Anyways, <laughs> Mega Mewtwo X, Mega Mewtwo Y. Damn. Bulk up Mewtwo. Yes. And it then. Like it's more viable now. With stab fighting. Base 190. Attack. 130 speed, 
and it's still got respectable defenses and a pretty good special attack stat too. Like, and then Mega Mewtwo Y, 140 base speed, 194 special attack. That's it. That's it. That's, yeah, that, I'm that, done. That, I'm just that, that right there, moving that on. Highest attacking stat. <laughs> Let's see. Ever. So the next one I think is Mega Scizor. No, it's Mega Ampharos. Oh yeah, Mega yeah. Ampharos. I forgot about that. The... Can't about the about L'Oreal. I don't know. I mean, I mean, it's interesting, but I don't think it's that amazing. What do we get the dragon then? It, it probably doesn't, though. Uh, but still. Because uh, remember, you can't be mega points. outside of battle. That's a thing, and its 45. speed stat is horrible. Yeah, Sorry. Just, just put out Thunder and Draco. Yeah. Speed stat is forty-five, not sixty-five. No, I said forty-five. Oh, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I mean, it's it's all right. It it does give Ampharos a boost that it needs, but wonders in trick room. Yeah, I I don't think it's gonna be that amazing. Cause the thing is, again, you do have to waste your mega on it, and you could go for a better better mega, you know. But well, I, mean, I feel like nothing switches in though. That's true. It's, it's gonna be hard still. to switch in on it. But after I know that, you come I mean, in on this. that's true. It, it'll it'll be pretty decent, but I. I think it's just not gonna be amazing, you know. But maybe I'm just dumb. Fairy type. Just okay, let's volume. get a ground fire. Let's get a ground fairy type. Let's go. Let's see. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Is Heracross next? Oh, Yumon. Or oh, Scizor's next. I guess Scizor. Where the fuck is Scizor? I can't. There we go. Every every everything about it. Yeah. Yeah, and it still has technician. Yeah, that's the key thing. Yep. Just, just take a look. There we go. Let's move on. Wait, let's look at its picture for a minute. Just wait. Let's move on. Are you serious? This it has, has chainsaws. <laughs> it's. Dude. You just look at its stats. Look at it still as technician. That's all you need to say. That's all you Never need. Camera choice man. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. How you sort that. That but was... that's still. I mean, that's still good. That's that's a bad alternative. But I don't know. I I think that's all that needs to be said about it. Honestly, it's just that's still good. Being yeah. Moving on now to the mom with the second highest base attack stat ever. Mega Heracross. Skill Link. You, but otherwise, nice attack. Good defenses. Just its speed went down a bit. Pin missile was on. Upgraded this generation. Oh, it was? Is it physical? It is physical. Oh, okay. Always been physical. I didn't know. I, I don't use pin missile. You don't. I'm implying that I do. <laughs> Wait, does Heracross Another get pin missile? Another important thing to note is that it's not confirmed that Heracross learns pin missile. Yeah, I was going to say. It would be but... nice, though, because um, yeah. Rick said um, that that's the only reason it would make sense for Heracross to even get scaling. That's true. But it just makes no sense. I mean, other than the speed stat, it's pretty good. It's really good. Oh yeah, I mean, just that, like, just run a choice banded set. Done. Um, um, choice banded mega. Oh right, <laughs> fuck! I keep forgetting. Why do you even need a choice banded on something to have? Too, <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, that's yeah. What? Do you really need to run a choice band no, that I don't. has an attack of 515? Yes, you do! Hello? That's it, that's it. Anyways. Um, <laughs> Mega? What? Huh? Houndoom. Oh, right, I forgot about Houndoom. <laughs> I haven't actually looked at its stats yet. Let's see, 115 really speed, good. 140 special attack, pretty respectable defenses, and solar power. Okay. Nice combination with Charizard Y, maybe? Yeah, well, you can't Mega Mega Charizard Y and him. Oh, that works like that. You're right. Yeah, like but you're otherwise, it's, it's, it's pretty, good be, um, pretty good mod. Pretty good mod. Mega Charizard Y. Uh, good even lighting. That's turn one of sun. Switch out. Bring in Houndoom. Then that's the second turn. Then evolve it. Third turn. There you go. Two more turns left. But the yeah. turn you evolve, you can also abuse the sudden attack. Oh, that's yeah. True. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. yeah, so. So that's nice. It'll be a, mm. it'll be a pretty good mon. Anyways, next, let's go to. Mega Tyranitar. All oh, right, I forgot about that too. Mm. I keep forgetting about stuff. I haven't been keeping up with Dex and Y, and I know this. I, I I'm just glad forgot. it's not Sanstream. 
Yeah, boost. that's true. And it's just got some very nice buffs. That defense boost. God damn. Yeah. It's got a buff to its attack, defense, and special defense, and a slight speed bump. Yeah, so... You still want to run hidden power fighting on your Delphox? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I will! No, I won't, because I'm not even going to use a Delphox. Yeah, but Mega Titar, that is pretty nice. That is pretty goddamn nice. Let's hurry up and get to Mega Blaze again so Chase can talk about Mega Blaze again. I was just going to scroll down to its speed stat, show speed boost. Well, I mean, just scroll down to its stats, show speed boost. That's all you need to know moving on. Um, don't you mean 160 attack? 130 special attack? Yeah. I know. I'm just saying, Nothing that's... Nothing changes for it, though. Nothing. Like, yeah. everything it already had just got better, but nothing really important changes. Yeah, I know. It, it's just better, it that's the thing. It's like... It, it, it's just the same shit Oko's in still, and the same shit but Wall is still. it's still too fucking good, you know? It's a, Yeah, but it's it's never gonna yeah. kill six Pokemon, because it'll have killed itself by then. Yeah, that's true. But it's still really good. Anyways, it is, of course. Otherwise, it wouldn't be over. Yeah. Still don't see it... Mega Slowbro, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, next we got Gardevoir, which is part fairy now. Yeah. And, and very good special defense, speed, and special attack. But then its defense just kind of lingers. But overall, oh. it's it's got very nice. It's very nice. So. I don't know. I don't know. Um, what do you guys think it can use with Pixelate? Because I'm still thinking Trace is the best ability. Yeah, like Trace is better for it, but... Hyper Beam. Yeah, I guess Hyper Beam would be nice. But... Um, eh. Possibly Grass Knot, I was thinking. Because that could be really powerful against oh, yeah. targets. Yeah. That's true. But, but otherwise, it's just like, eh. Alright, so... Oh, uh, one more move I would like to note is... Psy Shock, so you could go <clears throat> with Psy Shock and Moonblast. Oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. that, that's just something I, I thought of, but yeah. Um, otherwise, Anyways. I don't see much. Yeah, but that's all that needs to be said about that. Next, we got Mega Medicham. Right. No, um, um, you forgot some Mega Mobile, which oh yeah, uh, stats oh. have great. Oh, moves. also, I forgot about uh, Mega. Uh, what about Mega Agron? I, yeah, I forgot three. I realized. Oh wait, Manetrix after that. So yeah, it's like Mega. Mobile is first. No, Mega Mobile is first. Yeah, it's yep, Mobile. Yeah, Mobile's Mobile. next. Like, it, it's. Good defenses. Good yeah. Attack. Amazing attack. Amazing. Yeah, because it has huge power, so. Yeah. That's, that's insane. But, yeah. overall. It, its attack. Yeah. Mm. It'll be pretty good. Very nice, uh, defensive type it's completely walled by steel pipes, though. Yeah, that's that's true, but mm -hmm. it'll still be a pretty decent thing to have around. I think it learns fire punch. Oh, okay. Which could be nice, but like a heat trap. Yeah, it's it off. can just get too walled too easily. So yeah. Anyways, but still, it's nice. Definitely. Yeah. Making <clears throat> a while Pokemon to it, at least think about. It. Like, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. It's nothing. Yeah. Added nothing, but yeah. But anyways, next we have Mega Agron, which loses its rock typing, gets more defense, and more attack. 230 defense. Yeah, that's going to be... What the fuck? Yeah. Pretty it's good. also got the um, ability filter, which was yeah, only for uh, oh, yeah. Mr. Mime at the time. Which Yeah, uh, it reduces it by 25%, so it's just like... Oh, you want to hit it with something super effective? Well, fuck you. So yeah, that's that's gonna Which just be annoying. Instead of shit. two four times weaknesses, it does not <clears throat> have a times. It just it just is yeah. exactly yeah one point five weakness. Yeah, that's one point seven five. It's twenty five percent. Oh yeah, so that's still goddamn good. Like it's amazing. Yeah, that's, that's just amazing. gonna be so annoying so quick. Like that's that's, that's scary. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> Even specially defensive, like with base 80 special defense and base 80 <clears throat> HP being average, but with filter and pure steel piping. Yeah. And you're not going to have fun with that. Of course, being amazing, and without investment in attacks, still destroying Pokemon with its. Yeah. It's. Nothing short of amazing move pool. Yeah, you're, you're not going to have fun against Mega Aggron. going to have fun using it, though. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> 
Anyways, next, we have Mega Metacham. Ah, yes. Went up to base uh, 100 the, speed, got, still has pure power. Got the little boost it it grew ribbon. It, it'll and be... Anyway, um, yeah, it's got... It's not, not really much change, but it's gotten what's needed. A little boost in the yeah, speed. Yeah, so, it, it'll be nice. It'll be very nice. It's got a significant boost in attack and a, and a pretty alright boost in speed. Yeah, so... It, it, it'll see some more use, to say the least. I mean, its adamant max attack set has gone from 480 base attack to, what is that, 656? Yep. Wow. Yep. Exactly. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty, it's pretty alright, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> ah. And then, there's a mon <laughs> called... Mega, Mega Manic Trick. trick. Yeah, yep. Rich has been very excited about this. So I go right love, ahead. I love this thing. Okay, so. 135, 135. That's it. Overheat. Overheat. Mm. That's Don't it. The overheat. That's it. It's, overheat. That's it. It's basically like a juiced up Jolteon. That's it. Overheat. <laughs> just, just done. 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 Guys, there's overheat. Mm. Guys, by the way, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Overheat, we have confirmed this. <laughs> yeah, really um, I, yeah, it's it's overheat. Overheat. that's Are good. Sure? That's very good. Positive. All right, anyways, which, right. which what, what what mega is next? Uh, mega <laughs> no, is it? I no, it, no, it's mega Manette. Uh, Wait, what? I kind of did want, I kind of did want Survivor to get a mega. Wait, what's the next mega? Mega Bayonet. Oh yeah, Bayonet. I forgot about that. Like, I honestly forgot that existed. Dude, how did you forget this this 165? Hold on, what number is Bayonet? Three, four, uh, five, three, five, four. Three, five, four. Three, five, four. Okay, Bayonets. Let's see. Um, well, it did get some nice buffs. Oh, and as prankster. Have competition with um, Sableye, of course. You know the more superior. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, the good thing about Bayonet is though that it doesn't have the fairy type weakness, unlike Sableye, which does have a fairy type. Oh, weakness. they have a weakness oh, now. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Yeah, yeah. And you know No, I didn't. Sableye, it's 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 yeah, Sableye and Weak Spirit Team, uh... No more Wonder Tomb shit! Yeah, people who want to use Wonder Tomb can take, take Moonblast to the face. Yep. Yeah. yeah, Mega Bayonet, that's not bad. It's pretty usable. I think it could have gotten a slightly better ability to help out with its attack. Oh but yeah, but... Pranksters, it's Pranksters... Kind of still all right. Yeah, because Bayonet is still kind of a support dude, so... Kind of like Sour said, it, it's putting him in a stiffer competition now with Save Life. So still doesn't better. Recover. Yeah. Oh my God. All right, so then after that we have <laughs> Absol, right? Yes, Mega Absol. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> it looks like a hit from Raw. Yes. Yeah, that's true. But... Got some nice boosts. Got that 115 base speed, 150 attack. Straight, straight also the magic bounce. Magic bounce. <laughs> That's true. Got you that can't magic bounce. You can't will it. It's open. Yep, basically. Wait, who just joined the call? Uh, yeah. Neo. He oh, okay. Quiet, he, he's thirsty, so. Oh, okay. All right. I don't care. Hi, Leo. Hi, Will. That's not my name. Hi, Chase. There you go. <laughs> you have to be informed with me, goddamn. Anyways, yeah, Mega Absol. Um, it'll be interesting. It'll be pretty cool. So let's see. I think that's it for the Hoenn Megas, right? I do believe, sadly. No, okay. No next, elements. there's only two Megas in Sinnoh, I believe, and that's it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we Agreed. got Mega. You forgetting a bomb snow? Oh yeah. But first, we have Mega Lucario, I think, or is a bomb snow before? Uh, it's it's Garchomp, Garchomp, and then Lucario. Okay, Garchomp, Lucario, then a bomb snow. Okay, Mega Garchomp. Yeah. Nerf, but one seventy attack. And one twenty special attack. So Chain Chomp is actually a thing. Oh yeah, Chain Chomp's back, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember the last time I heard that. <laughs> exactly. oh, God. God damn. So but yeah. That's when you know that's when you know you've been playing this game way too long and you know what chain chomp is. Know, and there are gonna be a ton oh, of people who are like, what the fuck is chain chomp? Oh, you'll find out what chain chomp is. Don't worry. I'm about to make, use it. I'll make it known. Well it sounds like <laughs> Rich is gonna need like to get a... some uh Pokemon X and yeah. Y. This is much better than Zygon. 
<laughs> yeah, Mega Garchomp, it's... It's gonna fuck you up. Especially sand holes. Okay, yeah. Have enough mm -hmm. Anyways. However, if you think you're fucked up with that, Mega you know Luke about that Mega Mario. Mario no. Arguably even better. I mm -hmm. I I was I'm slightly disappointed. Base 112 speed. Like I was hoping for that base 115, but that 112 is still amazing. Like just run jolly. You don't even need to run adamant because you just have SD anyways with adaptability, mind you. <laughs> SD, dual stab, extreme speed. <laughs> Y'all used to call me hipster for running Bullet Punch Lucario on 5th gen. Bullet Punch Lucario is going to shit. Yeah, I stuff. need to get Bullet Punch on my Lucario, like... Wait, uh, 5th gen, Bullet Punch was, was hipster? <laughs> yes. What about, what about Gengar? Like, what? what about, it's about <laughs> But yeah, um... Mega Lucario! Yeah, um, there. Why, would, why would you say that you wanted a 115? Because like, it would just be speedier. Because well, I mean, it usually just uses priority. And yeah, really but priority I mean, the thing is, like, because the thing is with adaptability, you don't have to run adamant anymore. You're already boosting anyways, and so just in case you run into something, you know, there's that just in case factor. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, it speeds Gengar now. Yeah. yeah and so Gengar does not have a mega evolution when Gengar comes in. Yeah. So, but no, the thing that. is, then it can mega up. And then attack, cause that's a thing. Now to get bullet punch. No, yeah, exactly. wouldn't yeah. the Mega Stone still go off first? Oh yeah, cause your boss fell. Yeah, so I don't know, but Mega Lucario still awesome. And then we got the final, the final Mega, I believe. Most interesting. The Yeti. <laughs> a bomb of snow. Now you got a bomb of snow. It's. Damn. It's huge. It's, it's, it is actually enormous. <laughs> and is, those stats. Let's see. Let's compare the stats. Just look at that stat increase right there. Just look yeah, at it. 32, a, 40, a 40 stat point increase, or base stat increase for, in attack and special attack. And then 30 for defense, 20 for special defense. It went down 30 speed, but who gives a fuck those stats? Hey, choice Choice Carbon Bombastel pads, give a fuck. Well, I don't um, care! Was, that was good in Black and White 1, though. <laughs> hey, it was good on PBR 2. Blizzard double battle. You're, but yeah, no. You're I mean, there. Mega Bomb Snow, that's gonna hit like a fucking truck, and it's a boost that Hale could could use right now. Like, it's gonna help. Very good defensively, at least. Yeah, good. of course. I mean, that's. It's gonna, yeah. <laughs> to say the least. Taking all those water attacks. Yeah. Fuck up politics. Yeah, so... Oh, yeah, but easily. So, I think that covers it for everything that's kind of new. Like, that really matters. Like, there's something that's got fairy typing, but it's... I mean, what we mainly just need to look over is just, the, like, the really new stuff. So, I don't know. Any you guys got any closing words? Statements? Requests? Um... I don't know. I would like to know from your fans what they believe is going to be... Yeah. The greatest mega evolutions, and which are going to be very mediocre. Just, I believe, for example, that Mawile, uh, that even though it has yeah huge power, will not be that big of a factor. Mm -hmm. So I mean, just leave in general. Your guys' have thoughts on what's gonna be good, what's gonna be not. Just over everything we gone over, some we didn't go over. Bring it up. Just get the discussion fucking going, because we need to start this meta game going. You know. <laughs> yeah, and we're just working on breeding, so we can all provide you with uh, Wi-Fi battles and yeah. they're likely a lot against each other as well. So. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. I have my team bred up, I just need to, like, stage. train it. It's not the most IV good stuff ever, but it'll, it'll get there. But, we're all getting there and hopefully we'll get some stuff for you soon, but, yeah. I don't know, anything, anyone else got anything else to say? For those of you that are interested or want to put in the dedication to, I used to do this back in fourth, back in the early, early fourth gen, and it helped me out so much learn how to IV breed yeah like I mean I'll do it eventually breeding, but it's like right it, now it's gonna take you a long as fuck time to do it yeah but once you get it and you have a general idea of how to do it yeah you will be wrecking people with yeah. in-game teams like it, it's actually shocking how much IV breeding yeah no I mean it's not gonna matter people. as much cause remember Wi-Fi is auto 50 this time so it's not going to matter as much, so that's why it's like right now I'm not too concerned with IV breeding, but later on down the road I'll get 
you know, really into IV breeding, but it's just I want to get a team to play with right now, you know? But yeah, learn right, IV I'm breeding. Just, it is yeah. important. Look into IV breeding. Yeah. But, Another nice oh. thing to add to that is you won't be wasting too much of your time because a lot of the time is compensated by how much faster EV training is. Than oh, yeah. I mean, this EV training really time, it's like you can do it so quick now. It's, oh, my God. So if you're interested in Wi-Fi battling, then... Uh, don't be afraid to seriously start working on your team. And yeah, I mean, it, it takes a fraction of the time it used to. Like, once you get down IV breeding, you can breed a Pokemon in, like, 15 minutes, you know? Like, a I good mean, IV Pokemon. Next stop, like. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it'll take no time, and then it takes no time to EV train your guys up because of super training. So it's like, it's going to mm -hmm. be really streamlined, but it's just, yeah, it, it'll be nice. Chase, you should ask your fans if, you, if they want to see a tutorial of you explaining it. Because if you say it's so easy, you can teach them as well. Yeah, but I, I need to, like, actually get my ass on and doing it, you know? It's like, I'm not exactly at that motivation. point. But... but then, what about Chase's great wise words of YouTube and Google? They are your friends. Oh, yeah, that's right. That does exist. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, if he makes the YouTube video, the YouTube is the answer. Exactly. <clears throat> YouTube is hey, friend. just go <laughs> look back <laughs> on... There's probably some old 4th gen IV breeding videos, so, I mean, fucking find yeah, those. That's my old channel, but that's gone now. Oh, yeah. Whoops. There's probably one somewhere else, but... Also, I also had where to find Gengar in 4th gen. Did y'all you know, you know, you know that uh, y'all could do that? Y'all could find wild Gengars? Old Chateau. Huh. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. In, in the room. In yeah, the there room. was one. There was one room that had a poster, and you had an eye, and you had to do something. But you could find yeah. wild Gengars. Huh. I mean, Interesting. But I yeah, I, th I think we need to kind of wrap this up because this is gonna be going on for a while, and I need to get All going. Right. <laughs> Leave your comments on the Mega Evolutions, and if you want to see Chase do a tutorial video on EV training and IV breeding, be sure to PM at YouTube. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Damn it. That's www.youtube.com slash Ted, T-E-H, Wild Chase, W-I-L-E-C-H-A-S-E. And it can be with anything, you know. If you have trouble finding TM Earthquake, just let Chase know. He'll help you out. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> you see, here we go, here we go, here. I'm going to help you find it. I'm going to help you find Earthquake right now. Here we go, here we go. Uh, TMs. Also, feel free to leave your predictions there you go. on Earthquake. Probably be Route 22. What in the comments yes, below? yes, yeah. that's what I said before. Does anything about how the metagame is going to shape out? I mean, it's all going to be you guys, because remember, the metagame is the people playing it, so you got to play it, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, that is finally going to be it for this, so hope you guys enjoyed. Such, such, blah. Rick, I'm a sub. <laughs> sure. Um, if you're afraid of... Um making uh putting an effort to make a pokemon for your team breeding it and then training it and then realizing it's not the right pokemon for your team or you needed an egg move on it you didn't put it on and it's wasted effort you should go to pokemon showdown and test everything out before you yes the actual that pokemon. is a good thing to do first that is yeah, very good advice tony I, I think showdown is what um, like almost wrapping up with their beta testing yeah like yeah. i'm probably gonna be doing some showdown videos soon yeah like i'm probably gonna be doing some showdown videos soon just because it's gonna be good for me to get testing first like i mean i kind of put together a good structure for my first team but it's like it's still good to test it out and then test other ideas going down the road so that's just a good thing to keep in mind and just test 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 you it's the beginning of the gen so this is the best time to do your testing Exactly, game's been out for like not even a week, so yeah. go out and test, get a feel for it, and then yeah. By but by, by that point, we'll probably uh, we'll probably be working on getting some uh, some EVA training and IV breeding yeah. videos up for you guys to try and expedite that process along for y'all so that we can yeah get Wi-Fi battles back and going. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to do Wi-Fi battles again. But anyways, that is gonna be it for this. So hope you guys enjoyed. Such such blah. Recommend sub and later guys. Later guys, thanks for watching.